brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. And uh, the stay uh, has been continued until mid-January. That means no action on the 180 plus clergy sexual abuse cases in the local and federal courts. According to church lead counsel Keith Talbot, this gives the Archdiocese of Agania time to file for bankruptcy. It also gives time for parties to continue negotiations. Also in court on Thursday, plaintiffs' counsels asked that the church not engage in any more real estate transactions. As reported, plaintiffs had previously called out the church for quote-unquote acting in bad faith. This was in reference to church properties reportedly being sold without notification to all parties. We will absolutely work with the plaintiffs' counsel. The, collab the bankruptcy is going to be a collaborative process. And so we'll continue to work with them and talk to them about the sales of these properties or not selling these properties. Um, and we won't be doing it unless we're in consultation with them. As of today, the Archdiocese confirms only one property has been sold. That building, the former Kamalin Caridot thrift store in Hagatnya, is currently being leased to the Judiciary of Guam with plans to make it a new probation office. Bankruptcy, as we reported on Wednesday, was a decision that came after parties attempted to mediate in September. The church confirms they've also notified the Vatican on their game plan. Archbishop Michael Burns. One of these, uh, when you alienate property from a diocese, you have to seek permission from the Vatican. We've already done that with the, the, the bulk, the, the, the largest bulk of the properties. And so we've been cleared to make them available for sale. Um, the, uh, the, the, the bank, the, I wrote to the uh, congregation that's over us, the Congregation for Evangelization of Peoples, and have informed them that we are pursuing bankruptcy. It was noted in court that some co-defendants have settled their cases. The church, meanwhile, only has settled two. We are unable to uh, give that information at this time. Uh, while the settlements are ongoing, the premiation protocol is still in effect. A status hearing is set for January 17. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.